We failed with the tattoo primer, so we're going to try good old fashioned speed stick. I've done my red lines. The goal is to position it back in the same spot. Okay, we're using the rubbing alcohol here <laughs> with the speed stick. Aluminum free and applying the area we'll be putting the stencil. So I decrease the saturation of my stencil and helps to get more of that shade, the detail in the shaded areas. It's not supposed to be shading your stencil, but have a reference for your gray tones and black tones. Hopefully I've done that successfully. This is a pretty quick method compared to the other ones and the other ones failed, but at least fail quickly, right? <laughs> So when I laid it down initially, I should have put the, I guess the red lines on with it mm -hmm. face the other direction. I was just trying not to get the stencil anywhere smudged, but that's what you're supposed to do. It's a little smudgy. All right. <laughs> I can work with that. Sweet. Oh yeah. We are 24 hours later and here is the floaty lady tattoo logo thing that I created. Oops. I don't want to test it too much. It looks good. This is the first project I will be completely committing to the direct drive, except for maybe at the very, very end. I'll switch to that MV Gen 2 8 gauge cartridge to, to finish it off. So for the outline, I'm going to use a nine round liner. These are 10 gauges. I definitely prefer those over the standards, I think, for size. from four up. I don't know. The stencil's kind of tough to see right now. The ink that the nine holds is like a lot. Yeah, because I have to work from the bottom up. So I'm gonna switch to the three.
I'm still wiping away my stuff. It's not keeping well. It's super hard to see. trying to do a good job but <laughs> I'm gonna have to I'm filling in what I can see which is not everything I'm hoping I can fill in the rest Outline done ASAP, man. I'm trying to do it all with this wash just to like, because I can't, I cannot wipe it even at all.
Okay, I'm at a point where I just can't see any more lines to trace. So I'm going to wash it. I've lined a lot of it. I can't, I just can't see it. I have no idea what I've been doing. I've been trying to make an outline just to have something to work with here. All right, here we go. It's important to look at your work and critique it. We had to do that in our class all the time. You have to be on someone's body, so they're gonna just tear it apart, I'm sure. There's nowhere to be perfect as, I mean, there are some tattoo artists out there who are like literally perfect, but I mean, there's no way to start perfect, I'm assuming. <laughs> <laughs> well, I couldn't, anyway. I'm still developing my style. I don't know what I'm going to be doing, but I forgot what I was saying. I was saying the line weight of the fingernails was really good. And that's with like a, a gray shade and I had to gray shade the whole thing in. I had to line the whole thing really quickly before it disappeared. That was the hardest part. The stencil was not on there well. And I realized what's better to shade with the mag versus shading with the three round liner. Some of the effect that I wanted of the hair, I think would be better with the the mag because it, it actually comes to a sort of a thinner tip when you whip shade it. There's a mistake here in the eyelash. It's too heavy here. I mean, like there's a ton of mistakes. The teeth I would have lined better, maybe made, made those lines like I had as an illustration. I assume that like the artist sees more of the mistakes than the actual person. Sometimes. I don't know. I don't know how to tattoo. It's my first time.
and try out the gray wash. I think it came out nice. This area here, I really like. Why is that got a little dark? Not my best creation yet <laughs> of the two. <laughs> I could barely see when I was doing this, so I think it came out pretty good for basically doing it freehand for the most part. <laughs> yeah, like a very light stencil. I know, it wasn't freehand, but it was it was basically invisible. So. I think I can fix this more in a little bit.
So this compared to this, the top of the horn here where I was darkening it, I couldn't get it dark enough with the uh, dynamic regular black ink. But with the triple black eternal ink, I can get the stencil a lot darker. I realize if I turn it completely sideways, I can just get one needle on the I don't think I can make it any better by trying to fix all these small details, you know? Mm -hmm. It's kind of, it is what it is now, I think, at this point. How much better is it going to get? Right? Thank you. Bye.